Hey guys, it's Lucas Jones here, and in Hello. today's in today's box, we have no idea what it is. Are you not gonna introduce me? You. This is Colin. Hello again. Somebody is watching this for the first time and needs to know who's on screen. Yeah. And this is Molly. Molly is making an appearance behind the couch. Yep. Today's Yum's box is, did we not, okay, oh, oh, wow. Taiwan. Ooh, Ooh that's controversial. Great. Is it part of China? Is it not part of China? It's no, not part of China. It's not. Island, breakaway, renegade island thingy. Brazil told me it said that. No. Not to get political or anything. Or Taiwan. All right, are we just gonna, are we gonna jump right into the, why not? I have bubble tea in the kingdom of butterflies. Nice. You gotta show the camera. Bubble tea and bu butterfly bubble tea. Okay. What is this? That's a yums guy going like this in the corner. I don't know. You might need to show the camera that. That might um, need to get. Up. You might need care. to get up close with that. You can come up closer if you want. All right. In There's Taiwan. There's a little guy right here. Like Hold it, on, you gotta be way further back, Lucas. Yeah, it's not gonna focus closely enough for you, so. You gotta be further, like, there. Okay. There's like a little guy down here. There's this hidden guy. He's like a, it's like an Easter egg on the sticker. All right, here we go. We don't, we haven't put a single one of these stickers on our shirts. I put them on the car. We have a whole row of them on the car. You could put them on your dresser. I put them on the car. <laughs> I put them on the car next door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in Taiwan, you can win money by A, watching reruns on cable, housing stray cats, collecting receipts, or eating mochi. Can we go with cats? Yeah, no? sure. Yeah. Oh. See, collecting receipts. Don't trash oh. Taiwanese receipts. You might throw away a fortune. All receipts are printed with a special lottery number. Every two months, the government announces a few winners who bank jackpots of up to three hundred forty-nine thousand dollars. Nice. Anyone else in the mood for a shopping spree in Taiwan? No, I'm not. I'm not in the mood for that. In Buda Township, in Buda Township, okay. there's a church shaped like a camera. B fork. C rocket. D High heeled shoe. High heeled shoe. shoe. That's what I was gonna say. Great minds, babe. Both Great of those minds. are correct. Nice. Wait, did you have a guess? No. The high heel wedding church is a glass building nice. made that of three hundred twenty blue tinted panes, together shaped like a massive high high heel shoe. I didn't even think of that, but that makes sense, right? Like, because you would yeah. wear high heels to the wedding. Okay. I mean, like I wouldn't. At Seven but... Elevens in Taiwan. Locals, maybe like a high heel boot, you know, like if you're getting married in Texas. Something. I don't know. Okay. At 7 Elevens in Taiwan, because it would be like high heel cowboy boots. Okay, you know? I understand. All right. Understand. Okay. All right. I'm just making sure. At 7 Elevens in Taiwan, locals can do their dry cleaning, get a foot massage, rent a movie, or buy comic books. I mean, comic books? I'm going to go maybe all of the above. I was thinking that, but I'm going to go with foot massage. That sounds like if. if do that... their dry cleaning. Hmm. If I was getting a foot massage at 7-Eleven, I, I mean, I would need to go to the doctor right after that. Locals can do much more at convenience stores than buy soda and snacks. They can pay electricity bills, ship packages, buy concert tickets, have their clothes washed, and even check their blood pressure. I, Basically, Taiwanese 7-Elevens are the Swiss army knives of the retail world. They can do it all. Except, mm. apparently, um, rent a movie or buy comic books. Okay, yeah. number four. It's common for Taiwanese businesses to give out free beer, B, close after lunch, C, compete for office decor, D, offer two months time off. I don't know. Um, office what, decor? What was the second one? I would say the second one. Close after lunch. Yeah. No. Well, mom is correct. Wow. It's totally normal for businesses and schools to shut down for a short time after lunch. Oh, okay. Why? To nap, of course. <laughs> Duh. Locals snooze for two to three hours as it's believed to increase productivity and lower stress. Sure. If you were with us in April, you probably reminded of Spain's afternoon siesta. Yeah. 
You're also probably wondering why the rest of us haven't jumped on the nap train. Where's the nap train? I don't nap. I would love that. I'm just going to be honest here. I don't nap. Garbage trucks play blank to announce their arrival. Classical music, 80s disco, rap music, or pop tunes. Bum, 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 bum. I gotta assume it's classical music. Yeah. What is, what's your guess, Lucas? Classical. I'm gonna say 80s disco. It is classical. Oh. In Taiwan, the tune of Beethoven's Fur 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 Elise Fur Elise means it's time to take out the trash. Locals don't leave their household trash on the curb, but rather wait for the blare of classical music. The system started in 97, 1997, as a way to prevent curbside trash from stinking in the hot, humid weather. And it's worked amazingly. Today, the country has one of the most efficient recycling systems in the whole world. Garbage. In August, locals do not eat ice cream, exercise, drink bubble tea, get married. I think get married, because all the other ones seem like why. That's what I would Maybe say. married, there's some, I don't know, like eight is unlucky or something? I don't know. In August, six. D, you're correct. In August, Taiwan, Taiwan celebrates a hunger, hungry ghost festival. Ah. According to tradition, the gates of the underworld open, releasing hungry ghosts seeking Jesus. food and entertainment. Locals avoid weddings unless they want some ghostly wedding crashers. Instead, locals pre prepare food offerings, burn incense, and light lanterns for visiting spirits. Wow, that sounds dark, you know? It sounds pretty fun. I would love to have a ghost in my house, like, partying. Yeah. All right. In 2009, a Taiwanese man saved his village from demolition by applying for a special permit, painting the entire village, climbing Taiwan's tallest mountain, or put on ointment made from bees. Painting the entire village. I'm going to go climb the mountain. The bees one. B, painting the entire village. Most people would have given up and moved, especially if they were the last remaining resident, but not 86-year-old Huang Young Fu, the self-taught artist and war veteran painted all over the village in a one-man fight to save his hometown. His colorful creations brought in so many tourists the government ordered the village be preserved. Rainbow Grandpa to the rescue. Good for you, Huang. Would you the following can you get at a night market? No idea what that is. Worms? A, stinky Perfect. tofu. Maybe. B, bubble tea toast. Could be. C, oyster omelet. D, coffin bread. All of them. I don't know. Stinky tofu. Mom, you are correct. All of the above. You find everything from clothing to mess in at one of Taiwan's famous night market. But it's Zhao Qi street food that attracts locals and tourists mm -hmm. alike. Stinky tofu is marinated in fermented brine, hence its pungent name. Yeah. Bubble tea toast is a sandwich stuffed with chewy tapioca balls. Okay. Oyster omelet is a fresh oyster and tomato sauce dish. Okay. And coffin bread is a hunk of bread hollowed out like a coffin and filled with creamy chowder. Yeah. The yummiest coffin ever. That's what they used to call it back in the day, right? Like in the JT ancient, that's, ancient, that's right. right? Like a coffin was like bread that you weren't going to eat. But it was like a container for something you were cooking or that you were serving something in. It was basically just flour and water. Down. Double pea, bleh. Bubble tea popcorn, number one. This is going to be interesting. Popcorn with a terrific Taiwanese twist. Here are some other flavors. Almond and caramel. That sounds good. Caramel and cheese. No. Okay. It's kind of a short list of other flavors. <laughs> no. I think, yeah, just put, just, oh. I was gonna say. I would oh, get wow. the caramel and cheese. Really? I love cheese popcorn. Yeah, but I don't know. No, it's like two separate popcorns. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's gonna be interesting, I feel like. Huh. I mean, it smells pretty good. Oh. Thank you. I'm giving you two of this. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Caramel. Doesn't give me bubble tea, but yeah. it's a good snack. Feels like tea. I don't, I don't know. I don't get much tea flavor from it. I, 
get a small amount of like black tea flavor, but mm -hmm. oh, I showed the camera. Oh, okay. It looks like there's two different kinds of kernels. Yeah. Yeah, that one's okay. It's I I don't know. It, it does taste almost like one of them is buttery and the other one is caramelly. That one. But I don't I don't get much tea flavor myself. It's very subtle. But I think your mom has a better. I think I agree with my mom that it's like a very subtle black tea. Yeah. I think the lighter colored one tasted more tea like. Yeah, yeah. They're really good. I really like them. Yeah, those are good. Okay, the next one is. Um, kimchi and soy sauce crackers mm -hmm. does not appear to have um, anything meaty, although kimchi often does has um, fish, fishy stuff in it. Let me check. I am not going to be particularly happy about this because it doesn't sound great. But here, why don't you give that to your mom? What is monosodium? Monosodium glutamate. Yeah, it's just a. It's a. Um, I already checked. I think he's, he's I'm good. Confident. We don't need to. We don't need to look at it. I looked already. Thanks. All right. Oh. Are we ready? <clears throat> I'm not. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. One, two, three. Salty. Crunchy. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. It's mediocre. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I could definitely get a box of those and any of them. I mean, I would eat them over time, though. Like, I would snack on them. Yeah. It reminds me of, like, a cheese it almost. I don't know. Yeah. But there's no cheese in it. Why did you close this? You okay. closed it when you put it down. Yuzu sponge cake. Is Yuzu. Next. Yuzu? Taste Taiwan's favorite fruity, citrusy yuzu. If you've never tasted yuzu, imagine a citrus fruit with a thick, coarse skin that tastes like a lemon, mandarin, and grapefruit in one. Oh. Amazingly floral and zesty. That's yuzu. Originally found in China. Yeah, give that to mom. You can have this. Does it have a filling? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's... Did you want to finish I reading it? Really... It's going to be good. It's going to be really delicious. One, two, let's go. Three. Mmm. No. Okay. Like Absolutely not. Well, how do you use your Newton? It's very big Newton like. Yeah. That is so bad. I don't know. I think it it's okay. It literally tastes like an orange grape combined. And that is not something I want to eat. Hmm. Interesting. I thought it was okay. An okay. orange grape? Yes. Huh. I mean. I'm going to wash it down with some. Uh, all right, those guys, I think. Mm -hmm. You want to read the item? Black truffle potato fries. The crispiest, classiest fries in Taiwan. Oh, crispiest, classiest. Sorry, it's a little further away. What do we got? I don't love black truffle. I'll tell you what. Tom doesn't like any mushrooms. I don't like mushrooms, including truffles. Down a little bit and further away. Go further away? There you go. I feel like if I don't smell it, it will be beneficial to me. So I'm not going to smell it until... Oh, that didn't help. You don't see, but the lady behind the camera just did a big nose squinch head shake. Oh, all, all right. right, are you ready? One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Uh. Mm. Mm, no. Oh, don't, don't care for that. Oh, no. I think you have to really like mushrooms to like that. Yeah. That's very strong. 60% filling on... Taro cream wafers. There they are. Made with taro. Potatoes nuttier, richer kin. Yeah. Okay, you got two. You want to give like half one to mom or something? It's supposed to be good. good. Yeah, taro's okay. You get a lot of taro in Hawaii. It's a like a wafer of... cracker. Yeah. It smells okay. It smells like a cookie. All right, ready? One, two, three. Mm -hmm. I like that. Excuse me. Pretty bland, but perfectly acceptable wafer cookie. 
You could dip this in coffee and it'd be amazing. Yeah. This right. is some fancy stuff. Chocolatey mochi with peanut butter cream. Yep. Oxygen warning, oxygen absorber packet included in packaging to enhance freshness. Do not eat, keep away from children. So then I really should get this away from you. Stop. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Not, I think, oh my gosh. I'm not joking around here. I will say that not waiting like two months to eat this might actually improve the quality of the oh, food. Oh yeah. But it, right. it won't yeah. change the growth. These are so fancy. Wow. Do you want to show that to the camera yes. and or give that to mom? There's only four? Okay, well, I'll be having two. Uh, it just looks like don't mochi. Now. Don't be a greedy, still. Gus. Besides, we only got three. Okay. What do you mean? We have four. Oh. I was going to pop wow. it in my mouth while you, were, while you were at the camera, but then I didn't. Okay, are we ready? Chocolate mochi with peanut cream. Oh. Mm. Okay. Interesting. I mean, it's like the mochi around the outside. Yeah. Chocolate co covering, very thin, and then a peanut butter cream center. I'm oh, fine. I like it. It's okay. I'm not a lover of mochi. Um. I mean, it's okay. I think we're disturbing Molly. All right. She's like, why are you guys talking during my nap time? Yeah. All right. Is that everything? That's yeah. everything. Wow. She's like, what's up with the Klieg lights? Yeah. All right. Klieg. Is that what it's called? Um, I think that those are like old timey lights. Stop eating it. You're going to have the mochi, I thought. I was going to have the caramel. Popcorn. Okay. Are we ready for uh, Rosenthorn? Mm -hmm. Rosenthorn and Gildenstern? What does that mean? It's like a Shakespeare reference. You go first. To be... Or not to be called. I know. I was That's trying to think of another line from Shakespeare to supplement that from, like, you know, you know, to, make, to like do a mishmash of plays to show how smart I am. But uh, it didn't work because I couldn't think of another line. <laughs> to be or Julia? Uh, to be or Julia? What? Juliet. Juliet, yeah. I guess. To be what light through yonder window breaks. That's so common now. All it's right, like, Colin. To be or all the. Or or hell is empty. All the devils are here. But that's on there my t shirt. So. All right. Well, it's not on your t shirt. It's not on this t shirt. It's on another t shirt. All right, are we ready? Mm hmm. Four. Thorn. I think we can all. Black agree. truffle fries. I feel like we should almost exclude those. Um, but that, you know, I don't think I have another thorn beyond that. Um, even the soy crackers make, but no, I, you know, yeah, but the truffle fries are a clear thorn. I think. Same. Okay. Didn't I did not like the black truffle fries. I also didn't like the mochi thing. I, I didn't, didn't like that at all. I didn't like the black truffle fries either. But I'm gonna exclude them. So that I can choose a different thing. I mean, okay. these are definitely the worst, but I'm gonna go yeah. with this sponge cake. Really? For diversity. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. I I think the black truffle fries was the only thing I really didn't like. Couple of months of winners for me. Not a lot of gelatin in anything, and. Did this have gelatin in it? No, the mochi doesn't have gelatin. It's just the gl gl glutinous rice. Right? I see. So it tastes a little like that, but it's not. It doesn't have gelatin. Your favorite? Favorite was the popcorn. First thing. Big, big hit. Made a good impression. Different flavors. A little butter, a little caramel. Crunchy. Mm -hmm. Didn't get the tea from it, but I'm okay with that. I don't love bubble tea to begin with, so it's fine. Mom? I like the vanilla wafer cookie. Hmm. It was delicate. I like the flavor, and it was very crunchy. It tasted hmm. very fresh. It was very crunchy. What about you? Gotta go with the popcorn. Really? I thought since you're chowing down on the mochi, you were going to go with I've that. I've been chowing down on the popcorn the entire time. Well, you have. That's true. Yeah. Excuse me. Mochi is like my first. second favorite. Mochi is uh, second? Okay. I love mochi. Yeah, you do like the mochi. That's why I thought it might have been. You do like the mochi ice cream more than the mochi 
not yeah. ice cream though. I mean, it's still good. Yeah, for sure. All right, that was a quick one. I feel like I don't know. That yeah, it's quick. Pretty quick. Are we ready right. to give a verdict on how quick it is? No. Don't say call to action. Don't say like and subscribe. <laughs> Don't say leave a comment. That was I won't. very clever I way will to get not, that in there. I will not say any of that, Lucas. Trust me. We'll not say anything about. So if you liked and so if you liked the video, leave a like. Call to action. Okay, you Sorry. do it. You say. No, it. I just did. I said. No, you go ahead. If you liked the video, please like. It's just like. like marketing theory is all. It's like you know from the '60s. It's like you know the media is the message. All that stuff. I literally don't care. See, well, that's not very clear. That's just not very clear. Uh, so if you like the video, please uh, leave a like and uh, what? <clears throat> why are you pointing at the camera? I, because you should look at the camera, not me. And uh, if you like our channel, if you want to, you can subscribe. Uh, I when I was on my other when I was on uh, my my stepdad's phone, I saw that uh, you couldn't actually leave a comment. So I don't think comments are on. We'll check a look, but I think you can leave a comment. We'll, che we'll check on that. Might be some technical difficulties. But uh, Might depend on the video. Maybe turn on that bell. On. Hit the bell, yeah, whatever. I mean, you're only, we only do it once a month, so it's fine. Yeah, don't, don't. You're not gonna get a lot of, you're not gonna get a lot of uh, clutter in your subscription list yeah. from us. All right, well. But when they do pop up, it's gonna be like a pleasant surprise for that month. You're gonna be like, oh, nice, Lucas and Colin. Or Lucas and whoever. But you've been in all of them. You're like the, you're like the constant, you're like the North Star of Lucas Yums. It is called Lucas Yums for a reason. It's not called Random Yums. Molly Yums. No. We started these yums way before we had Molly. Pablo mm -hmm. Yums. All right, people. All right, well, I will see you next time on Lucas Young. Bye, guys.